Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. So, I'm not going to say who it was. No, oh, Jesus. Uh, it was, but it I, was you, wasn't it? It was not me. Uh, I recently had a friend, pretty close friend of mine, uh, who did one of those uh, 23 and Me like, uh, you know, like, DNA test things. Okay. This 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 already cuts the it cuts it in half. What's that mean? No, yeah, no, you know, just a certain archetype of person who uh, gets a twenty three in me. I haven't done it. I don't want to do it because I don't want everyone to know all my stuff. I don't understand what that means. They are going to use my data and sell it yeah. to Bezos or Gates or yeah. Mister Google. Yeah, I could see what having like your your DNA makeup on file is really going to do to the economy. I'm glad that you understand it as well. I didn't realize that your specific 23 pairs are, are the ones that were holding everything together. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were the key I, to the economy I, falling. I am the key to the Chinese banking crisis. Goddamn Da Vinci Code is hinging on Jonas yeah. what's, concealing wait, what's his identity. What's the type of person that does that? Tell me about that first. Because it really wasn't me. This isn't like I have a friend situation. So it really wasn't me. It really... Okay, uh, who do you think? Let's 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 people who are curious not... about their ancestors. Okay, okay. Now, white folks. Is that what you're saying? Wow, Jonas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Is that what we were talking about? Your, your words, not mine. <laughs> a bunch of holy Moses, Jonas. How could you bring race into the a bunch yes. of car horns just buying all? So their... yeah, that, I will say is that that is the number one uh, trait. Of a person who gets 23. <laughs> this person was Caucasian. <laughs> of course. Um, second trait is female. Okay. That's the second trait. They were they they were a white female. So, uh, so. I will tell you is that 80% of dudes don't give a shit. We All just right. don't. Gotcha. Fin- okay, so I already had an idea. Okay. Boom, that's half. Well, I, that eliminates every penis and every melanated right. person from the list. Right, right. So which is me pretty much. They found way. out. Yeah. That their father was not their father. <laughs> Gasp. So, like, that's kind of fucked up, man. Wait, that's like, how do you feel, find be, that out? Because they, because, because it came back <clears throat> that their brother was their half brother. Mm. So instead of their brother being their full brother, their brother was their half brother, and they reached out like, "Yo, what the fuck?" And they were like, "Well, we thought it was your dad's." And obviously now it's not like, and, uh, like that's a really wild ass experience. Like, could you imagine like doing a test and just being like today? They're like, Oh yeah, by the way, that guy you thought it was your dad, your whole life, not your dad. I mean, it, it, when here's the thing, yeah, it changes nothing, exactly. but it changes everything. Because, like, the person who took care of you was your dad. You, you're where you are because they were your dad, like all that stuff. But then all of a sudden you're like. But everything I thought wasn't real. Uh, it wasn't real. It's kind of nuts. But like it's you, in a in a weird existential way, right? Like yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel you. Like I don't know. To me, I don't know if I would care, especially at the point I am now. If, I feel like if you're over the age of like eighteen, twenty, like just let that shit ride out, man. Just keep it. Well, right, right, exactly. No, I feel you. I just like I just couldn't imagine like taking a test and like them being like, oh yeah, your your dad's not your dad. But that's not gonna. That's not gonna like send me on like a hunt to find my biological father to find no, out. No, no, and I don't think, and, and I don't think you know that's what's happening here. It was just when they told me, I was like, "Wow, that's wild it, as hell!" Like that's a wild thing to find out. Like when you're a grown ass person. Yeah, I will admit that is crazy, and that I love the fact that once you get to a certain like, once you hit a certain level of adulthood, it's always good to go and talk to your 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 mom or your dad about some of the decisions that they made while raising you because they they're they're the humans they make oh mistakes. yeah oh absolutely like, i think about like when i was in like my early 30s or late 20s because yeah. i remember my parents at that age yeah and i remember how clueless i was just to take care of myself let alone having like a little me running around trying to take care of my ass like yeah clueless exactly clueless like yeah. you know they were, they were out there living their best lives you know so. yeah getting drunk leaving me in the basement so yeah, that is crazy though. I would definitely uh, write a book about it. Maybe, maybe she should do that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it would just be like, cause it's just yeah, cause then it's like interesting. Cause then like all of a sudden your brother's only your half brother. Like, you're you know, it's just it's it's 
I mean, I would be interested in meeting the guy, I guess, if I or the, the woman, if it was my mom who turned out it to could not be, be my mother. not your mom. You don't know that, Jonas. It's uh, 2023. Oh, Maybe. like, oh, I see what you mean. Like, like your dad had custody and you, they just said that your mom was your mom, but she was yeah. just like, you're not your mom. Or like the woman who had me was a trans woman. And all this time I've been, you know. You never know. Everybody's I mean, tra- everybody's trans nowadays, so you gotta. I don't remember. know what that means. Why I'm just, what, what does that mean? Why don't you talk about that a little bit more? <laughs> that was a broad about, statement. That was a broad statement. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I know. I was joking. All right, uh, but, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I would be interested to see. You know, like what. What other pair of chromosomes helped to bring mine about? Well, yeah, like, do I have any other half brothers or sisters I don't know about? Because like this guy had other kids. Like, like you have this whole secret family you didn't know about, but they're not even your family. Because like, if you don't know them for thirty-five years and then all forty years, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is my brother. You're like, that ain't my brother. It's just a stranger. Yeah, it is it's a stranger. And hot take, man. Whenever you meet extended family or secret family or whatever, they're always trash. <laughs> They are, <laughs> you know it, man. This is my long lost sister. She's just like a check cashing criminal. <laughs> it's just a freaking raccoon in the trash can. <laughs> like, oh, hey, sis. <laughs> just like digging through trash. She bites you. She's like, you got any money? And you're like, excuse me? <laughs> just has her raccoon kids like an actual raccoon in a trash can. That's that's, yeah, what, that's I, what you would end up being. So I feel, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. It's like every time they're like, oh, this is your cousin Samantha. She just got out of prison. <laughs> like, oh, God damn it, Samantha. What'd you go to prison for? <laughs> Check I fraud. Ate, I ate my boyfriend. I'm like, I okay. Ate my bo- uh, cannibalism. Oh, that's a common one. That's a common right. trope in the in the community nowadays. I'm glad that we're meeting for the first time in our yeah, 30s. I just, I, like, and like, I guess like now that that gives me like another layer of like why do i want to do this test yeah yeah i mean honestly to me i don't know what that knowledge would do for me necessarily i know like they do they do show like some uh like your propensity for like certain diseases oh does it it'll get that deep i thought it does oh wow interesting I think it shows you if you're like uh, at risk for certain things because it gives you like it, it, as much as you pay for like a 23 and me, it, it gives you a lot of information. Oh, is it expensive? I, I don't know. Let me look it up. John, look, man, what were the first two rules? <laughs> oh, white women. Yeah, I don't even, I'm not in any of those. Uh, I figured you might have looked at least. like them. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ah! I mean, I like them too. Ah! <laughs> Yo, call it your black co podcast host guy out on like and white you girls. Like them. Is That's hilarious. It. I didn't Dude, mean I any- love that. I didn't mean anything. No, else but it's funny. Yeah, you didn't have to mean anything. It's still funny. It's only a hundred bucks. <laughs> it's a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, dude. They better tell me how big my dick gonna be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you a diagram. If it is not at least X inches long, yeah. talk to your mother and yeah, find out that about thing's, something. That thing's got to let me know with girth. <laughs> it'll be. It'll tell you the day you're going to lose all your hair. It'll exactly. be like. Ugh. Exactly. That's insane. Is it a one-time fee? It says we offer two base DNA kits. Yeah. And one, then, or, one-time fee. An optional health plus, which is our annual membership service. Which tells you every time you're going to get sick until you die. Uh, not really. Uh, uh, I don't know what it does. Yeah, but. I don't know. I'm not interested in that, though. Yeah. But- I, I, like I said, I honestly don't know what that information would give you, except, like, if you're, like, I don't know. I could see, like, a bunch of people in Austin doing that. And lo and behold, we live in Austin, where it's like, I need to know about my ancestors and my chakras need to be aligned. And I want to eat whole milk, but not from a cow, from a nut. <laughs> I want to eat whole nut milk. Yes, yeah, Austin people are always saying that. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, is that what? Yeah, I've, I've been out and about. I've never heard that exact nomenclature. Yeah, we don't go to the same circles. I see. We don't mm. operate. We apparently. I mean, it figures if there's somebody eating nut, that's where you'll be. <laughs> Whoa! Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Again. Oh God! Anyways, again, <laughs> go to the crazy town. Got him. <laughs> Got him. 
<laughs> ever seen? Have you ever seen Nailed It, the cooking show? No. I watched it like with an X. It's a it's a really dumb show where like they they're like here here's this thing that you're gonna make and it'll be like a really fancy gingerbread house and like they have to give people like average people like the, the tools to make it and then like they obviously it just looks completely like shit and then oh. when they do it they have, the, the host is always like nailed it <laughs> just like just like okay. it's just like a I like that it's like the the Jesus restoration painting like that's what yeah. it looks like the do they give them instructions or do they I mean, they just, they have to make it. Like, I mean, but they give me a recipe? Because if you give me a gingerbread house, I'm fucking that up if I don't have, like, the the, uh, the Ikea printout. Oh, I don't remember. But it was okay. funny because she'd always be like, nailed it. And they're like, Haha, I didn't, though. That's a good idea for a show. I, I can't even lie. I would watch one episode of it. Yeah, I watched, like, like just... one. And I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. Never again. Yeah. Uh, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com to subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.